Now we come to the concept of adaptive Huffman coding. So this algorithm is adaptive in such a manner that we have a stream of our source symbols and a Huffman tree will adapt to letters we face to make it in such a way that uh, maybe we don't know probabilities of the symbols but we know that we can give them counters. Each counter will uh, count how many times each number has been faced. So we initialize counters. All the counters can be given if you are making uh, some task. So we initialize counters C, CI for each symbol. Probability is becoming the counter of the symbol divided by total counter. So to divided by a sum of all symbols counters. On each step we create new Huffman tree and uh, new probabilities, we update counters uh, yeah, and in such a manner build a tree until all symbols are gone. I will show the example step by step and it will become clear if it's not yet. Let's see what's happening when we're trying to encode D, E, E. So, we first comes D and we build our Huffman code in such a manner that we have faced D, right? So let's give the shortest codes to D. Yet. N now comes E, but the counter for D is already 2. Thus we do not change the tree yet. But now you see that another E comes and we will change the tree. We have changed the tree because 3 is the biggest counter. Thus we have faced E a lot of times and the algorithm think that the probability of E is a big one, right? The counter is 3. If another D will come, the tree structure will not change. If R comes, we will not change it. And the, there has to be some amount of consequent R or uh, yeah, to change the tree in such a manner that R will be here. 